Okay, so we are going to continue our paginator component today for Mint T, which is a TUI built in OCaml that I created and wrote all by myself. Just kidding. Um, I didn't write I didn't write the TUI framework, but we're going to contribute a component to it uh, slowly, eventually. TM. Um, uh, Suyesh asked uh, whether he should use uh, or they should use OCaml or Rust for an Auth0 type thing so they can learn on the go. And you consider yourself a coder in TypeScript, JavaScript. Sorry, sorry about sorry about the cursing. Sorry about that. I don't have a nice beeper set up on the stream. Um, ecosystem. Okay. Um, He did say go a lot. He did. Good point, Yawar. <laughs> <clears throat> yeah, it was like subliminal messaging, right? Uh, I really think you just need to use go at the end of the day. Um, yeah, I I would say if you, yeah, if you're coming from TypeScript, um, <laughs> um Yeah, I would say I would I would personally think OCaml would be much easier for you to learn on the go with. Uh, building building a new thing. That would be that would be my fairly non-controversial opinion, I'd say in that case. Uh, I mean there will be other things to learn. You got to get used to the syntax blah blah blah. Uh, but you know, there's a lot of escape hatches in OCaml, um, which can be nice uh, in the early stages. I say that, and it's like I'm I'm still in the early stages too, really, of writing OCaml. But I have like uh, I have years, years. I'm a senior. I'm a senior functional programmer. Okay, um, so you know, I have a, I have a pretty decent functional programming background. Um, <clears throat> okay, senior. Super senior. All right. Quick little message check here. And we'll get into it. <laughs> He's the senior other seniors referred to. Senor. See. Si. Senor. Senor developer. Okay. Um, so we have mostly finished like translating the Go code into OCaml code and not even, not even like changing the conventions very much. Here's a good example of what I was saying. So yeah, is like, we just wrote a for loop in OCaml, you know, can't do that. Can't do that in a lot of functional, we are using a mutable ref and a for loop because that's what they did in the go code and I just it was just easier to just translate it one 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 for one. <laughs> for sure, Suyash. Uh JS JS fed my uh fed me for for years. So all good. We like to meme about it. We like to meme about it here. Uh, do I think it's like the best language ever? No, no, it's not. But you know, uh, no, no shame. Uh, it is, it was my first language. Yeah. JS was, they didn't have TS when I started long time ago. Um, <laughs> uh, RCH says closure is still lurking in ML circles. Yeah. I don't know exactly what you mean by that, but I still I still like implicitly agree with it, even if I don't know your exact meaning. <laughs> uh, so there's that. All right. Um, oh, right. So this is the point. So last time we we left off with skill issues, uh, unsurprisingly, right? 
And the scale issues were, let's find the mint tea session. There it is. Uh, the skill issues were that uh, I have to actually specify types sometimes. <laughs> okay, so what we were trying to do, let's see if I can I can get back to the state we were at. <clears throat> Boom, little git stash. Um, so what we had in our like constructor here, our make function, is we had Arabic format being passed as a string, right? And so OCaml's like, this is a string, this is a string, and we have it as a string up here, okay? And I thought this would be fine because then I just want to use that in a formatting function, um, but it, it was not, okay? And this was this was our, our error. Uh, well, this wasn't our exact error. Our error was actually further up uh, here. Let's see if I do a little Dune build, it might give me the other. Let's see what happens. OK, so we get this error on textile and it's it's a it's partly a symptom of this error that I ran into at the end of last stream. And then it was too annoying for me to forget about. So I just spent a couple minutes thinking about it. It probably took me 15 minutes to figure out that I just needed to actually specify uh, a valid type. So this is a this is a good thing to think about for if you're not like um, I'm getting there. We're all, we're almost there. Yeah because this this user i mean this 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 error isn't the most like obvious thing necessarily obviously this error is saying oh you have the wrong type right um but uh partly the the problem that i ran into and there there's a question in here based on like my current ocaml skill level and y'all are might be able to point me in the right direction here <laughs> Um, but, uh, which is that like, there's a certain, there's a certain point where format doesn't work the way that you might expect. Right. And so let's just say like, we could get rid of, let me try to try to explain what I'm trying to say. Okay. This is what I'm trying to say. This is a really good example. So say you wanted uh, to format something, right? And you might think, because I can do this, let's just use our, our Arabic format example real quick. Because I can do this, then that means that I should be able to say, Okay, so we have that, right? And then if we use that here, we get a type error. Oh no. And that's because the type, well, it, it just shows you in the error anyway. It expected a this type, basically a, uh, a format type, right? This is just a type constructor that holds all these things. But I gave it a string. And because I didn't say what this is, this wouldn't work, right? Now, so what I did, and I'm not saying this is like the perfect way to do this, but <laughs> what I did is I then defined a format with the string or, or with the with the type that they said, right? So for for the example down here, since I have two arguments to the format, right? I'm using two variables, the the one and the two, then I would have to say something like this. Um, now I could do this different ways. I think these are just ints. Um, I believe this would be the right type. 
without having to specify the generics in my little I could do for all a b c but I'm just I'm just making it concrete to make it easier. Um we'll see if this works. Okay, so you see that beautiful type that that just that just kind of created for us. <laughs> and then if we run this again, it works, right? Um, you can also use format of string function to convert a string into a format string. Okay, see, there's there's the little things that I would have I just didn't know, right? Um, so that's that's great to know. So let's go back. So let's define format as a string again. This one. Okay, format's a string again. We get the type error. But I could do a format of string format. Okay, I like that. Um, this expression has type string, but an expression was expected of type Okay, well, <laughs> let's let's just see what happens <laughs> if I do this. Um, that's weird. Let's try it. Let's try it on a simpler example. Format of string uh, percent s. We'll just say hello percent s. Okay, so that works fine. Is it the D that it doesn't like? I meant a lowercase d. No, that works fine too. Is it the double that it doesn't like? That also works fine. Weird. Oh, it wants a literal. So I still can't store it that way. That's the point, right? So I can't do something like Right. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I get it now. So because let's do an easier format. We'll just say we'll use the let FF again and we'll just do this. OK, so we have this. And even though. Uh, what am I trying to say? Right. And then if we did format dot sprint F. Uh, format of string ff world still doesn't work. OK, so you do need a literal there. Now, what I could do, though, which would make it easier in some ways, is instead of having to specify that big type, I should be able to do format of string s here and then use this. like that. OK. It's still a really helpful function to know, because I at least don't have to specify all of the types in the world, right? Um, so what I ended up getting to, if we stash pop, OK. Um, for a couple different reasons. <laughs> uh, so basically, I hit this similar error several different places. Um, so I hit this error with trying to pass in text style as an argument to these. And then it actually would only work if I did the spices build here. And that was for like a similar type error as far as I could tell. Um, so that part is interesting. Um, and what also didn't work, if I remember right, and this is like, obviously, this is all just part of mint t, these spices functions, is that I wasn't able to, I had to do this like intermediary, and I wasn't able to just do for instance, text style t dot Arabic format uh, one two, right? 
because then I would end up getting this whole thing. Yeah. So I'm not exactly sure. I mean, it could just be that the. Oh, no, Emacs didn't update. OK. Uh, one second. Thanks. Thanks for the call out. No, you guys aren't supposed to be looking at racket code right now. Um, yeah, OBS lost lost Emacs for a second there. Okay. So anyway, um, let me go back to to what I ended up having. Oh dear. That's unfortunate. I just did I did too many undos, and then sometimes I have a hard time getting back to uh okay i did it i remembered i remembered what it was um ever since i went to evil mode my undo tree is a little bit screwed up compared to what i was used to it working like with normal emacs okay what i was trying to say is I hit this similar issue, which is really just about specifying types appropriately several different times. Um, so I fixed the Arabic format issue. Instead of storing it as a string, we specified this type. Like, that's really annoying. And I wonder, can I just leave this I guess I, I could try just leaving this off. Can I just specify this as format? I guess it's not the same type. So I ended up doing this. I don't know if there's a better way, right? Now, now that I know that right format of string, unfortunately, still won't help me uh, the whole way. But what it could do, at least, is instead of having this, no, it still wouldn't because it wouldn't be it wouldn't be a string literal. So basically once once I've assigned this string to a like with let like a var, we'll just call it. Um I can't use format of string. So I just didn't know if there was like a nicer way to go about this in order to store a format string, basically, right, uh, in in a type, in a record. So I don't know if you're still there, y'all are, but I don't know if this if this is just terrible. Why not curry the function? You just give the args and let the user create the format string. I don't see how that helps me at all. Uh, Amit. Like I want the, the user provides the format, right? Like I have a default format, but the user can provide the format when they make the paginator. Um, args format string hey Prevan, what's up yeah i know it's burning it's burning up args format string args i how does that help me Oh, I see what you're saying, but the problem is that actually I have to use this textile thing here. I mean, I could do that, but I don't see I again, I don't I don't really see what that gives me. I'm building I'm building this textile. Maybe it's a little silly. It feels silly to build this every time, but that's what they're doing in other components. Um 
I mean, yeah, I can I can curry the function. I could do that, but then I'm still going to have to specify some sort of of type in my record type. Like I don't think that's going to make my life that much easier. But yeah. I don't know. Anyway, I'm just going to leave the code like it is for now. This was the solution I came up with um, for multiple reasons. Um, so let's just go ahead and commit this like it is. Paginator. You're thinking about like an intimate T? Cool. Uh, paginator view. Yeah. Really good, really good commit message. Um, okay, so I'm trying to decide like how much I want to, to show you partly what I was talking about, but I think we're just gonna continue. If like Leandro or Dylan or somebody wanted to, to tell me the right thing to do then. Yeah, I think that's asking too much of the user. I think that's a bad, that is a bad experience. In this case, I mean, the, the worst experience that the user would have would be if they tried to do something like this. If they didn't, you know, if they know OCaml, maybe it doesn't matter. But, um, but by doing it this way, all the user has to do is they just have to call make, you know, Arabic format uh, equals percent D percent D, you know? Um, all right, so I did decide that we probably need to have a text style in this component. So we probably should add that and then we're gonna use it in our view function. And then I think we're mostly done with view. Now I have no idea if any of this works yet, but we'll, we'll, we'll see. Um, okay, uh, let's see. So let's get a, let's try a, let's try a horizontal split today, shall we? Shall we try a horizontal split? Whether it works is the integrator's problem. <laughs> nice. Um, or custom formatter function. Yeah, no, because we're using, Spices already has a formatting function built in. And so we need to use the Spices formatting function like in the component. And that's why the nicest developer experience, like user experience, would be to just pass the format string because they've already built, they've already built their style that they want to use. Um, so yeah. Um, okay. So we're just going to use text input as an example again. Countdown timer with text. That's it. Nice. And then we just need to add this to our make. Um, so we will just add it here after Arabic format. And this is going to be <coughs> textile equals spices dot default. And I mean, I see, I see, like, it's not a bad way of coding to have, like, the default prompt, default text style, et cetera, but, ah, uh, <laughs> I don't think I'm going to do it. Uh, so this is just text style. And then we just need to update our record type. And text style has what type? It has spices.style. 
Okay. And that should be good. Our make is happy. Now we just actually have to use it in our view function. So instead of saying let textilecospices.default, we're going to say t.textile. And honestly, I probably wouldn't even do this. I would just pass it like this. And then we get rid of a let. Okay, so everything should still work. And besides that search path opt local lib not found, I think we're okay. I have no idea what that means. They built the custom, because of the literal problem, they built the custom formatter. Is that what you're saying for mint to you, meet? That's why they did it? Are you, are you meaning that in a different way? <clears throat> Uh, yeah, I don't, I don't like it either. <laughs> oh, that's funny. Because of the literal problem, they built the custom formatter. Yeah. I don't know. I mean, the good thing about like working with kind people on an open source project is that I know Leandro's just going to like, tell me like, hopefully he doesn't just accept the code, right? Like he's just like, ah, actually this is bad and you should do it this way. You know, and I've seen him do that with other people so that, you know, any, he, but he's nice about it. Uh, but yeah, I prefer that as well. I'm just copying the format that is in the project already as far as like the way all these are like the, the record thing. And I, I guess that's like typical OCaml. What, he just accepted your code or he, he told you why it sucks? <laughs> no, he told you he told you what, what you could fix about it. Looks good to me. <laughs> oh dear. Well, oh well. No. That's that's funny. Well, that's just because your that's just because your code was perfect, one, you know. Um, all right. So let's see what we don't have done yet. I know we've got the view function done. So this is view. I know we need to do update still. Update will be a little interesting. Okay. So that was new and we finished view. So all we have left is update. All right, let's, let's do it. Um, so let's just use this as an example. And we'll just continue matching as we can the organization here. So let update is something that takes a T and an E, which is an event and returns a T. Okay. Um, nice. Oh, M is model. No, model. Yeah, no, model's the thing I was thinking of. We're good. We're good. Um, okay, it takes... Wait, no. Let me just follow the OCaml code so I don't get confused. Okay, so it takes the T and it takes the E. <laughs> and then we pretty much just need to match on Q presses, right? Um... It's kind of interesting to do the key down K and then do the match K with backspace instead of doing key down 
I mean, I can kind of see why you would do it that way. Uh, are you talking to me, Priv? Yeah, I'm, I'm working. It's in the title, Priv. It's in the title. You just have to read. Just messing with you. Um, let me just look at my uh, my tutorial thing. X Pheasant, thanks for the follow. I yell at Priv and I get a I get a follow. How about that? Talk about per perverse in incentives. All right. Uh, let me just see. I'm pretty sure here we just did yeah key down, and then we just did like what key it was. Um, so now we have to decide like, what is our default behavior for like, which keys are going to be our, our default behavior basically. Um, I love that you can just do like a, a sub variant here, which is really nice. <laughs> Who reads title? <laughs> You're just not clear enough. All right. I'm just messing with you, Priv. Okay. Uh, let's see what their default key map is, and we'll probably just leave it as, as that. So their default key map is that page up, left H, page down, right L is all, is all that. Okay, interesting. Um, so I would guess with our variance for keys, looks like letters are, are there and that's it. I love the H and L though. So let's just say key H or left. Uh, or what is it? Page down. That makes sense. Nope, page up. Oh, I did it. I did it backwards, didn't I? No, page up, left, and H. Oh, you know, that's prep page. Yeah. God, I, I don't know what's wrong with me. I don't know if it's really page up, but we're, we're about to find out, aren't we? Um... Okay. And then it's command dot no op. I don't know if that's true for me, but we'll just we'll just pretend that it is. Oh, <laughs> now I'm getting now I'm getting confused because I was looking at my code instead of the um the text input. Arrow down or arrow up? No, it's actually the way it is, at least here. See, it's like left, right. I mean, the only thing is weird. Like, I guess if you had a text input and this, then obviously the event might not go to the same place, but I don't know. We'll, we'll see. I don't know how that's handled. I don't know enough about it yet. Um... Yeah, so with cursor equals cursor dot focus t dot cursor character backward t. How does this work with cur? Oh, this is just a very large record update syntax. Oh, interesting. I don't love that the way that it's coded, but that's okay. Um, somebody who wrote text input is in chat right now and they're crying. <laughs> I'm not even looking at my code. I'm looking at somebody else's code to me. Okay. Calm down. Calm down. Okay. So this is why we actually created 
prev page and everything, so we don't even have to do this. We can just call it prev page T. I don't even have to do this. Okay, we're good, we're good. So actually, I'm just gonna do this, and I'm going to say prev page T, right? Because I'm just returning, what is this update return according to this? It just returns the T. Okay, good. Um, so then we can just call prep page T. I was making that much harder than it needed to be, surprisingly. Key down. Key L. Right. Page down. Next page T. Okay, so what do you hate about me? Looks like page down is wrong. Let's try this. And if that doesn't exist, we might just get rid of the variants. <laughs> or we can try to define them, I guess. Okay, up, down, left, right, space, escape, backspace, enter, key of string. Oh, I see. Key to string key, key K, K. So I guess I could do, um, I don't actually know like what the, what the key would be called for page down, but I'm, I'm somewhat tempted to just leave it off for now and just not worry about it. This is text input ML. Just not worry about this variant until I actually care. Because everything else is working. Okay. And then we just need to provide a catch-all, which is going to be this. And I don't think I care about any sort of update, so I can just pass back a T. No, up or down is arrows. I mean, they just defined those variants. So like if I wanted to create a page down variant, I could, but I'd have to go ahead and define it. And I just don't care right now. I'd rather just see if this is working instead of defining it. Okay, this looks good. I mean, I think since this is probably building still, all that's left is like actually testing it out, like building a little example and seeing if we can get it to work or not. Uh, I don't actually know like what this is about. What is this error? I don't remember this happening before. User slash local slash lib not found. So opt slash local slash, so something's calling LD. And what is calling LD though? It doesn't, no, it doesn't exist. It's a, it's an Ubuntu thing. I mean, it's a Linux thing. Ubuntu is the only Linux that exists. Just kidding. I just said that because the, the search thing was talking about Ubuntu. <laughs> oh, the things I say on stream. Oh, well, we're just going to pretend that doesn't matter for now. Um, I don't think I get it on other Dune builds. Let's just, let's just find out for fun. 
Shall we? Shall we find out for fun? Oh yeah, here's here's a brand new thing. Okay, it's probably something in Riot then. Um, I wonder if it would happen if I went into Riot. Oh, I don't have I don't actually have Riot locally, I forgot. Yeah, I don't know why. I don't care right now. Uh, detecting wrong OS, maybe. It could. It could be. I don't know. I've used Mint T just fine on here, so I'm going to just pretend it's working. All right, so I think now we can just build our example. Um, so let's do that. And I bet, I think, I think this has examples in it. Does it? Does it have little examples? That would be nice so that I didn't have to like create my own and use my head. Nice. Example code. examples there was an examples directory and i just couldn't find it <sighs> okay mm -hmm. so we don't really have to do all of this p.active dot don't care about that. P dot set total pages, return model paginator P. Okay. So now I think we can just create our own little, little example. Uh, let's find an example that we should look at it. Right, uh, libc is pinned to my local fix for libc. I know it's working. So when I pin to Riot, even though Riot's on GitHub, when OPAM says, okay, now I need to depend on libc, it's gonna use my local build of libc. Um, but yeah, it's a good, good call out. I don't know. So far, it's not affecting me. So we'll just pretend that it's not going to. Um, <laughs> solid, solid example. Uh, so, solid idea anyway. Okay, let's use text input as an example since we have been doing that anyway. And we'll just maybe yank all this code. Um, so let's see. Let's just make dir examples paginator touch examples paginator. We'll need a dune file. We'll need a main.ml file. And we'll see if there's anything else we need later. Okay. Okay. Uh, and then if we exit this, exit that, we should be in a reasonable state. Let's just try a little Dune build in our example. Nothing. 
nice. Um, okay. Can I do this? Is this what I have to do? I don't know. Um, let's just try to do an exec. Okay. So that works just fine. I don't know why my editor thinks everything's ruined though. Why doesn't this work? Try calling Dune build. I already did. I already did call Dune build. Why doesn't why doesn't my editor like this? I'm guessing cuz it's not like yeah, let me just reopen the file. That's a good idea. <laughs> nice. <laughs> okay. I I mean, most likely this is working. Yeah, the LSP is working. So I just had to reopen the file. <laughs> good call, y'all. <laughs> okay. Um... Sure. Yeah. Have you tried turning it off and turning it back on again? Thanks, Eileen. <laughs> and and welcome. Um. All right. So let me just think about this. I don't really think I care about this part because that seems pretty obvious for here. Uh. I guess I'm trying to think like how I can do this next thing. I think I'm probably going to have to um, see how this works. So they have an update function. If e equals event dot key down enter, then model with quitting equals true, command dot quit. We can replace let s equals blah 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 n s with just yeah. Oh, that's interesting. Yeah, right. Yeah. This was just the, this is the example. Yeah, I, I copied this code, but yes, that's a good call out. <laughs> Centered mouse, Ryan, let's go. Centered mouse club. What, you, you don't like the centered mouse? I mean, what's better than a centered mouse? It's, it's amazing. What are you, what else are you going to do with the split keyboard? Yeah. Occasionally, occasionally I get the hand that comes out of my navel and it uses the mouse when I really need to use it. It takes, it takes a lot of mana though. So I don't, I don't try to use that too often. <clears throat> okay. Um, Yeah, yeah, we can clean up. We'll we'll clean up this guy's example. Who the f wrote this? Okay, I'm just kidding. Uh, I think I think it's awesome that people are writing these components. Um, that would make a lot more sense. I mean, in in some ways, then yeah, you'd kind of just want to say like, if we could actually just get rid of the match, the match statement, and just change this to event. But I don't know. I don't know. It's fine. It's fine. Um, I mean, a match with two clauses is is that is that really necessary? Uh, all right. It's fine. Give me some. Give me some OCaml practice, right? Um. All right. 
Uh, this is funny. This is funny that I just wrote this. Might might help if I match event with. Okay, okay, we can do this. Um, event dot key down enter. We like it. If e equals right, and then we just get rid of this. And why is this? Oh, it's a tuple. <laughs> I was like, I don't like this. It's just a tuple. All right. And then let text equals. See, this isn't even going to be a thing. So I'm, I'm going to just delete all this. Do a little J. And then we'll just return our we'll just return our model, uh, which in case we don't need the braces or anything. Okay, that's fine. I already have it marked as mature. Okay. Um, I did it last time because you guys were being degent. Bunch of deep. Bunch of degenerates. All right. It just hates the cursor thing because I don't need a cursor. And that's fine. So now we just need to change the text input stuff to our actual, like the thing we're actually building. We're going to try that. We're going to see what happens. Um, so let's just do paginator, I guess, in our model. In our model. And then we're just going to say paginator.t. I don't know what quitting bool really is about, but we'll just leave it there. Uh, it's Emacs with evil mode. So Emacs with Vim motions. Yeah. Um. <laughs> no, <laughs> it does not. It does not bear repeating. I mean, all right. Uh, and then we're going to do a little paginator equals and we'll probably because paginator is so, so beefy at this point, like our paginator constructor takes way too many freaking arguments. So we're just going to do a little make here and then we can... Go something like this, and I think that works. Assuming that paginator works. Okay. We like it. Uh, maybe we'll find out. <laughs> um. Okay. So now I have to do paginator make. And it might actually be easier. I guess the LSP is telling me enough. Um, damn it, it was right there. And I already, I always forget the syntax for some reason. For some reason, I keep forgetting freaking named argument syntax. Like when you wanna, when you wanna specify it. Like I see you can just use an asterisk like, ah, that's all right. I just deleted it. We can just open it somewhere else. It's just, it's, it's colon. That's the thing I always forget. I always forget the colon. All right. I guess it shows me. It literally shows me in the thing. And I still, I just, I wasn't trusting it. All right. So, uh, right. So we got, we got to use till days. Where the hell's my till day? I'm gonna have to. I'm gonna have to put tilde somewhere different. I have to type tilde way too much. All right. Uh, I don't care. What do I actually care about specifying? That might be helpful to know. Let's look at paginator ML. Let's look at the make and see what I actually care about specifying. Um, I think we can start on page zero. That's fine. Per page. One is fine. Total pages. Let's make total pages three. And we'll just use active dots. 
We'll just use dot style for now. Uh, well, I guess we'll just use the default, right? We'll use Arabic and we'll just do three. Sure. We'll try that. So I think the only thing I actually care about uh, specifying is total pages three, and then we just pass it a unit because we have to. Um, oh, that was my other question since Javar is here. Like my guess is on a function like this where we just have basically tons of optional arguments is the reason like we have the unit there basically just so because like that's the way of saying this is still this is still a function right like that's the function application in some ways <laughs> like i mean not that the unit in this case is the function application but basically we have to have at least a single required argument to a function and that's why we just use unit that's the better way of saying it um Okay. So I think that's the only thing I want to do for now. And then we'll just see what happens, right? You need a positional argument at the end of the application so the compiler knows the application is done. Otherwise, it will keep looking for potentially more arguments. Yeah, that makes sense. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Um, all right, so the paginator syntax, that works here as well. Yay. Yay for not having to say paginator equals paginator. And our update. Um, I guess I don't, what did it do before? Let's look, let's look at my update function in like another example. Cause I feel like this example actually isn't that great for seeing like the text input example. Wasn't that great for seeing like what we do otherwise. Oh, I see it did the text input dot update model dot text. Okay. Oh, I see. Uh-huh. So actually all I want to do then instead of all of that is I'm just going to say paginator.update uh model.paginator maybe. text input.update model.text e Huh. Oh, right. Yeah. Okay. Yep. Model. Right. I did that already. I just need to add the E. Okay. Um, paginator dot update model dot paginator E. Yes, that looks correct. And command no op. Okay, so that should be fine for my update function for now. I just need to change my view to be correct. Um, if model dot quitting, then format f text input dot current text model dot text. Okay. Else format dot f text input dot view model dot text. Okay. Uh, I think I need to look at the view in another example for me to make any sense of this. Um, what are our other example options? Counter, layout, views, paginator, spinner. Let's do spinner because spinner is really simple. And I'm really simple. So we're just made for each other, really. Um, right. So it just asked for all these spinners. The update says match event with event.frame now. Sure. And the view model is just mint, percent esque, 
string.concat list.map sprite.view model.spinners. Um, I think then, I think, <laughs> let's look at the Go code and then, and then I'll try to just do this. <laughs> I'm probably just making this too hard on myself. Let's see what view actually does here. Paginator example, we like that. m.paginator.get slice bounds len m.items for item equals range.m.item start n v dot range string plus item plus okay. Where did the items come from? The model up here, did it define some items? Okay, so it defines some items. Where? Oh, okay, it's just it's just this. I don't know why you would bother doing it this way, but that's fine. Um, I'm just gonna do this much simpler than that. And okay, so this is when we should just copy the Go code basically. And then I think I think the rest of this will make more sense to me. Let's hope. Let's hope. Okay, this all looks fine. We already have that in our code. Um, I missed a follow or something. Piorzin, thanks for the follow. Welcome. Hope you're doing well. Okay, we're all, we're almost there. We're almost there. We can do this. Um, why do you still? Why do you still hate me? This expression has type paginator T, but an expression was expected of type model. <laughs> yeah, sorry about that. Uh, can I do something like this? Paginator equals. I know it's not like the easiest thing to read in the world, but does it work? Yes, that's all we care about right now. Um, okay, so let's go ahead and give this items as well. And items is a string list. We'll just make it a string list. And then our initial model needs items equals, let's see if I remember how to do this, uh, item one might help if I did this, item two, item three. Okay. I think we did that, correct. And is this model.quitting thing something that I actually need or what? Event.key down key Q model.command.quit. I don't really need it here. Um, oh, I see. Enter. Why would you say model with quitting true on enter? That's weird. Um, so this is just for the text thing. Thanks for the lurk one by, okay, I'm just gonna do that. I like that one better. And then I don't actually need the quitting as part of my model. So we can get rid of that, which will make this a little simpler. And we'll get rid of this. And we're getting closer to something I can actually work with. We're just going to see text input dot view model dot text, right? So let's just change this to paginator and paginator.
And we're just gonna say paginator example like this for now. All right. Don't care about any of this. We already did all this. We really just need to figure out the whole view thing and then I think we're we're good. So this uses a string builder, which we aren't gonna to need to do. We just have paginator example. I guess that's fair. Well, we'll just match the go example for now. Slash n slash n start end equals m dot paginator dot get slice bounds. I don't really remember what that does. T dot page times T dot per page in. I think they actually uh, did something called, they did the special thing like having code comments, which I mean, I was, I was going to do in the MLI file, but I haven't got there yet. What is, what does get slice bounds do again? <laughs> Get slice bounds is a helper function for paginating slices. Pass the length of the slice you're rendering, and you'll receive the start and end bounds corresponding to the pagination. Maybe this doesn't matter for me. Like maybe I'm being dumb here. Start end equals model that gets slice bounds, len bunch of stuff, slice to render bunch of stuff, start end. I guess it's just saying how much the paginator can support of the stuff. I, I guess that's what it's doing. I, I don't really get it, but it's fine. There's many things I don't really get. Um, n dot paginator gets slice bounds, len m dot items, which we know in this case is just three. Uh, I guess we could do that. Um, for proper bounds checking. Yeah, I guess it's just so you don't go off of like beyond what you actually have. Sure. Um, dot item b dot write string plus m dot paginator dot view. Okay. Okay. Interesting. Um, so we'll still leave that at the end. I guess I just need to actually provide it like the items. Range m dot item start end b dot write string. I guess what it's doing is it's saying you have this many pages, and so you have to split your item among your items among those pages. I guess that's, oh, I see. That's why they generated a hundred of these. I was like, why are you gonna generate a hundred of these if you only have three pages? So I'm guessing each page has, you know, depending on how many, how many pages, but they set the total pages to len items. So this is, and then p dot per page equals 10. I guess that's the per page. It's a window for the items. Hey, Comfy Cushion, what's up? I guess that's the per page thing. 
Oh, okay. 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 I think I'm getting there. Given the total number of items passed as an argument. Okay. So we're generating. I still. Okay. Set total pages, len items. Okay. It's pretty funny that I, I just translated this code without really thinking through what it was doing. <laughs> Yeah, no, I get it, Amit. It's just, I didn't really think through it at first. I mean, it's how pagination works, but I didn't really think like, oh, it's really funny. Um, so set total pages equals n, right, items divided by m dot per page. Okay, so this is where per page matters, and this is why we don't, we probably don't want this. We probably do want to like actually generate a fair amount, a fair amount of items. <laughs> okay. Oh God. So uh, I know how to do this enclosure. Does that help me right now? Uh, what's the best way to generate generate stuff in in OCaml, like from a function? I mean, obviously, I could do a for loop, but like, uh, um, should I just do the for loop just just for the heck of it? The for loop. I knew I knew you were gonna say that to me. I didn't say in general. I said in OCaml. <laughs> we can. I don't I really would rather not do it that way. There's there's some nice way of doing it. No, there's a there's a nice way of doing it. You know there is. Um should we just ask Jippity? Sure, why not? We still we still paying for Jippity for four more days. We can ask it another question. How can I generate item one to item 100 uh, a list of strings like an OCaml? Of course, I'm asking OCaml genie, so I probably didn't need to do that. Okay, list dot in it. Okay. What did your oh on Stack Overflow? It's like did your uh Jippity just work faster than mine? Is that really what this is about? Yeah. Okay, so list.init takes the number of items and it just ends up being a list of integers and then puts those items here. Interesting. Okay, cool. I knew there would be a nice way of doing it. Um... Fun eggs to item string of int, right? Just using cat, it's fine. Item string of int x plus one, that's probably gonna need a parens. I mean, I can do this, but we'll just do this. Oh, I forgot the actual uh, number argument. That might help. Okay. <clears throat> Mm 
I guess I don't need the need the that paginator items. Okay, looks good. Googling worked faster than Chat Jeopardy. Can you even believe it? Just responding to a Discord message from PG and Dylan. Okay. <clears throat> Done. Um, yeah, I'm sure that's what I'll go back to. Hey, Colcus, what's up? Okay. You're procrastinating. You need to stop doing it. Then just stop, dude. It's just a choice. All right. So we have like 25 minutes before I need to head out. Let's see if we can just finish this up and see if it actually works. I mean, so far, this is like, this is working. We have items. We just need to actually finish making the whole per page. Yeah. See you, dude. <laughs> I'd rather you get your stuff done than watch. To, to be honest, like, unless it's not important, then you should just watch. But, you know, just do do what you want to do. It's fine. Whatever. Um, all right. So let's start here. And we just need to set our per page uh, in our make, right? So we have total pages. We just need to do per page 10. Um, and then I see, I see. So I don't know how I want to do this. I could leave the, I could leave the per page as default. And then I could do something like this and then, uh, but set total pages. I doubt set total pages actually returns the T. It returns a tuple of new T and N. Okay. Um, and then, so I can do this and then I can just say, I don't care about the second argument, I believe. Okay, this expression has type int two. Did I screw up somewhere? Maybe I can't do it this way. Do I, do I have to do something else? Okay. Let's let's do it the less fancy way, I guess. Um, we'll get rid of that. So now paginator is int to paginator t. Oh, I didn't. <laughs> no, just give me a second. I just forgot to pass an argument to this. Oh God. Fun.
Okay. This expression has type paginator.t, but an expression was expected of type int. Interesting. Oh, because it's the first argument to set total pages. That is kind of annoying. I wonder, I wonder if I should change that. Huh. What does, uh, what did other people do? Because I kind of hate it. Because ideally I could just like pipe them all. No, ma no matter what Leo Stara says. All right. Um, I'm getting there. I'm getting there. It was leaves that I cared about. What do we do in text input? Are we still... Text input doesn't really have any functions that are special besides the view, it looks like. Let backs, uh, yeah, they still put T at the beginning. <sighs> Fine. I guess we'll just keep it that way. I can't say I love it, but that's fine. So, I mean, I could make it a named argument and then I wouldn't have to worry about it. That's the other thing I could do instead of it being positional. I don't hate that. Hmm. No, it's fine. Let's just do it this way. We're going to do a paginator make and then Why is this doing this? Let paginator. I don't care what you would have done to me. All right. It's kind of dumb, but it's fine. Uh, I would have went with passing item length and number of pages to the make function and then calculate items per page. I don't know why the make API doesn't use item length. Um, yeah, I think it could be like a smarter like make. Uh, let me think. Well, you're setting per page. I guess, I guess it's just for maybe, yeah, it's a good question. I don't know. I mean, in some ways you're giving them more access to it, but yeah, no, it, it's fair. It's fair. I don't know. I don't know what the right answer is. Uh, for now, we're just going to go with this extremely ugly code and pretend it's fine. And go from there. Uh, one sec. I'm gonna mute Discord because Dylan and BG are, are going for it right now. All right. Um, this actually looks fine. Now we just need to actually like add the items to our view. Um, so here, we have like this whole thing. So what does this end up doing? Oh, this is a model. What does it do in our view? It gets the slice bounds of len items and then it range m items start end 
b.write string item 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 item. Okay, I get it. This should be fine. Yeah, I understood your point, Amit. It's just not how the Go paginator works. And for now, I'm just making a one-to-one -one port. It's a good idea. We can always improve it if we want to. Uh, okay. So this has that. I think that's totally fine. Um m.paginator.view is there. So, okay, let, I guess we need to do it this way. Um, so the let view model thing, I guess they're building a whole string out of it uh, because I don't have that. What was the example for the spinner? How did they do that? How did Sabine write this code? String.concat, it just concatted all of the spinners. That's also fine. Um, mint, where does mint come from? It's like a special, Oh, I see. Ah, this is the whole spices thing. Format, let a mint format. Yeah, okay. Oh, interesting. So then this ended up just being mint. Okay. Maybe that's the way I was supposed to specify it in the other code. I'm not sure. Um, it's fine. We'll just we'll just keep going. Paginator example. I guess my question is like this just concats the string. And I guess if I want to do that, I just have to keep. What's the difference between this and the caret? I guess just that this can be in a function. Oh, it, it, it concatenates with a separator, right? That makes sense. Um, so maybe actually I just want to do this. Uh, we will just say slash n paginator example slash n slash n. Yeah. Paginator example slash n slash n. And I don't know like what the right, I guess, I'm just wondering like what would you usually do in OCaml to do like a multi a multi-line concat? <laughs> like can you just do this? <laughs> like is this okay? I don't know if it is or not. I would imagine it is. It's a little bit ridiculous and probably not what people would usually do, but that's okay. This is me we're talking about. Um so then we're gonna get the slice bounds here. So I guess we'll start with that and we'll say let start comma end equals model dot paginator dot get slice. Right, if it impiles, it's, it compiles, it's okay, right? Module.paginator model get slice bounds. Um, how do you get the size of a list? I wonder. I don't care right now. We're just gonna we're just gonna say a hundred. Len and items. Okay, n. 
Uh, does let start in not work? Or did I just not do my get slice bounds correctly? Oh, I also forgot to pass it. Oh my God, I just, I'm, no, I did this right. I did this right. But that's what I did wrong. <laughs> I'm using this as a freaking method. Uh, paginator dot get slice bounds. Okay, I'm like, what it? What did I do wrong? Um, and then we just say model dot paginator. Okay. Now let's see. Get slice bounds model dot paginator. It takes a t to an int to a tuple events. Okay. Uh, syntax error expecting pattern. Interesting. Can I not do a let start end like that? Is that invalid or did I just do something else wrong? Java dev spotted. It's possible. Um, Okay, so that is not valid syntax. Interesting. So, so this is valid syntax, but this is not somehow. Okay. Did I just forget how this worked? No, they're not. The type is int star int, but the separation is just a comma. Star is just is just multiplication. Yeah, it's the type. All right, uh, so this is wrong somehow. Um, let me just look at my definition, make sure I didn't make a mistake here. Get slice bounds and star int. We're good there, but there's just something wrong with declaring a tuple this way. Or this doesn't work in a, I wonder if I have to put parens around it. That would be kind of weird though. But we can try it. Nope. Ha. Huh. See if it understands my extremely confusing sentence. <sighs> I tried that though. Okay. Weird. I guess I'll try putting parens here. Oh God, it got me, it got me last time too. I did the exact same thing. Ah. Oh my God. Thanks, Neuroscience. So dumb. That's why I have in pause. That's why I have in pause. And I had this exact same problem. And it was only because somebody in chat told me that end is a keyword. <sighs> Hate that error. Hate that error. It's a bad error. It's really bad. All right. I'm just I'm just gonna pretend. Well, if I knew how to type a effing carrot, 
Okay. We're going to keep going with this. Um, okay. So now we can do the whole concat thing. Um, but we do need, now we need the whole slice bounds thing. No, that's what I got. Start and pause is paginator dot get slice bounds. And then I can just use that, uh, to just take that many, uh, things in my list. So let's just make sure the way that the go code uses it in their example is I don't know how go ranges work. So if they say start to end here, um, is this an inclusive range or an exclusive range? Does, does anyone know if it's inclusive of end? I would assume maybe that it's exclusive. I could look at slice bounds to understand the function to see if it should be inclusive or exclusive, but just thought I'd ask chat. Cause I mean, you guys got to do something, right? Um, all right, fine. <laughs> I mean, don't, don't guess if you don't know the answer that doesn't help anybody. All right. Uh, so, so t dot page times t dot per page. Oh, I see. Right. Um, so it's a little interesting the way that get slice bounds works. Like it makes sense for doing the whole, like the way you would do this in go or whatever. <laughs> it helped to just guess and then put maybe at the end. Of it. Uh, unbelievable. Okay, but anyway, in pause is min t dot page times t dot per page plus t dot per page length in. Okay, so like, say we're on page two and we have a 10 per page, it's gonna give us 20 and right. So plus t dot per page would be 30. And I don't remember. All right, so it's the min between that and the length. Okay. So then it is it is uh, exclusive of end. Okay, that's what I needed to know. So if we have start and end pause, then we just need to take a relevant slice of our list for that. Um, huh. I would do this with take and drop in OCaml, but I don't think we have such things. Uh, list dot, not, I said in OCaml, I meant enclosure. <laughs> All right. Uh, I could do a split. Um, hmm. All right, let's get up the list docs. I think that would be nice. Oh, camel list docs. Module list. I wish I had something on the side here that actually gave me the full list of uh, functions in, in this module, kind of like we have in Rust docs. That would be really nice. We have cons, we have head, we have tail, we have nth. Okay, we could do nth, but it would be really, really slow because it's a length list. Um, flatten, okay, comparison, iterators, there's some folds, list scanning, list searching, I know I can write a for loop. I want to learn OCaml, not. I know how to write a for loop, but that's not very exciting.
Uh, so there's partition. A lists, let's go. Are we reducing to a reducer? No. I'm I'm really <laughs> this is literally what I'm trying to do right now, whimsically, is I'm literally trying to do this, which is closure, but you know. I'm I'm literally trying to say drop 20. Take 10. Literally what I'm trying to do, but I don't know how to do it in OCaml. Um, I might want a sec, and maybe that's the answer, is that this is all in sec or something. It's probably a sec. <laughs> uh, yeah, yeah. <clears throat> hey, Alice, how's it going? Hope you're doing well. You probably know this, Alice. If I have a start and an end, what's the best way to get, like, th let's say this is like, these are integers, right? Um, what's the best way to get the items in my list that correspond to that? I'm thinking I have to go into a, a sec. A range? Can you? Oh, are there ranges? Oh, sec has take. Yeah, I was saying in in enclosure, I would do. I'd be do, doing this right now. I would say something like this. But yeah. Okay, that's what I want. That's what I want. Beautiful. Yes, thank you. So it's a sec. All right. Um, I don't actually know what a what a what is the underlying. Oh, it's fine. That's another question. What is a sec? Um, all right. So then I, I mean, is it normal that I would be? Um, hey, Leandro. By the way. A sec is like an iterator, okay. So it's normal then that I would start with a list like this. <laughs> That's all you need in BQN, guys. Thanks, Whimsically. It's normal that I would store this as a list in my model, but then call to sec when I actually wanna do something like this. Like I wouldn't store it as an iterator. That doesn't make sense. That's not how we would do it normally. So this makes sense, I think. Okay, very cool. Thanks. Frackery. There's so many times to use that emote on this stream. You just, you literally, you have no idea how many times you could do that right now. Um, okay. So we could do something like sec.take end pause minus start. The end keyword error gets me every time, Leandro. The end keyword error, which is just the worst, the worst freaking, this pattern expected thing hurts me every time. I, I hit it twice and I could not figure it out both times until somebody in chat, thankfully, was like, no, you did this wrong. <laughs> like, or no, it's a keyword. <laughs> it kills me. Oh, man. Okay. So sec.take in pause minus start, sec.drop, sec.to list list. And we'd want to drop start minus one, probably. Oh, int goes first, right. Okay. And I put a space in there. You guys like that? You like that extra space? Um, all right. Sec.drop in X is, yes. Deprived of its first in elements. Okay. Um, 
So yeah, I think I want to do, yeah, start minus one. Uh, so we'll just do this for now and see how bad this is. Obviously list is not something valid. This is model.items. And what else do you hate about me today? It might help if I didn't do this all in like one thing. Uh, we're gonna go. We're gonna go grug here and just say here, and then we can actually see what what our errors are. Um. Okay. Of course, I didn't actually do the whole uh, concat thing though. Uh, string dot concat. Um, probably this. Um, I already forgot the syntax for this. I had it up from spinner. Okay, now that would work. And then I just passed the the list that I actually want. So I guess Z in this case. Okay. Let's let's go. I forgot an N. Okay, we like that. And now it just hates the sec dot two list. Unbound value, unbound. All right, why is it unbound? Oh, it's it's list dot to sec. <laughs> it's list dot to sec. Yeah, that's it. Okay, let X, Y, Z, we like this. All right, now it's actually a sec, and I bet string concat wants a list out of it. Um, so I could, I could put it back into a list at this point, or I could use like a, another thing. I think for now, we're just going to put it back into a, a list. Is it list dot of sec? Yeah. All right, so then we're just going to say list.ofsec z. And I'm, I don't know if I can do this because of the ugly way I'm concatting everything. Probably not. <laughs> uh, it would be nice, wouldn't it? Hey, let's go. So good. Or gasp a, a foldable. Can't have foldables. Um, Twitch, are you lying about my bitrate right now? Is my bitrate actually bad? You're just lying to me. I don't know. It says it's bad. That's weird. Stream quality is okay. Whatever. Okay. Seems fine. <laughs> okay. <laughs> All right. <laughs> The Twitch, the Twitch stream dashboard is just like, like, I'm not, I'm not saying it's easy, right? We all know problems are harder than users think they are, but the stream dashboard, uh, is so, is so out in some ways that it's, it's very confusing. You're seeing dropped frames. Now it's breaking. Now it's breaking. It could just be my camera. My camera has kind of been acting weird too, but I don't know. I don't know. Uh, I guess we could do, <laughs> I'm really good at doxing, 
I, I doxed my IP address the other day, which is not a static IP, but still probably not preferable. Uh, so I, I'll try to not do that again. But I'll check my upload speeds. I ran a little a little speed test.net on stream. It was really good. I wish I could just choose whether I want to download or upload instead of having to wait for download. I mean, the upload speed peaked at 400. I think we should be okay with that. And the lowest I'm getting is like 147. I don't know why it's so bad. It could be... I guess it could be the encoding, but no, my drop frames in OBS looks fine. All right, we'll just we'll just keep going. Let me know if it's like a distracting level of bad, uh, bad quality. Okay. Uh, this looks fine. Let's let's see. <laughs> let's see if there's anything else I really need to do here. <laughs> Um, we ran, okay, so we ran the event to our paginator, happy with that. We did this, we have our view update, okay. We have our paginator.viewmodel.paginator, okay, let's just, let's just try running this. Let's see what happens. This is, this is the, the moment of truth. I, this is the first time I've ran the example. So we'll see, we'll see how good how good or bad we did now. Okay, awesome. Um, I'm not even using, I'm not even using these, right? I forgot. I copied those from another example, but I didn't actually use them at all. Okay. <laughs> Unhandled exception, invalid argument in sec.drop. Okay, what did I do? <laughs> Uh, all right. So sec drop takes an int and a sec and returns a sec. This should be fine. Um, why would this not work? WTF. I uh, I guess we can try this in the REPL real quick and make sure everything's working. Should we just run it in the REPL? See what happens. Um, I'm so obsessed about sex right now. It's just crazy. Uh, let's go. Items looks good. And let's just test our, our sex code. Um, I'm mostly just happy that cock doesn't have sex, right? <laughs> Unbelievable. <laughs> this stream has just really, it's just, it's regressing into, pretty soon we're just gonna have to put this in just chatting because it's that's what it's regressing into. <clears throat> I don't know how long I can actually keep that command on I mean, I don't know if I can handle it. I don't know if I can keep it. It's so bad. <sighs> There's a whole story behind that, by the way, everyone. Uh yeah, absolutely it is whimsically. Absolutely. Um okay, what am I doing? I guess let's just do this. Oh my God, I can't type. Everybody already knows that though. Okay, this looks fine. Uh, and then... Let's just say we wanna drop, let's just drop 10 from our X. Also looks fine. Okay. Weird. Huh. All right. 
Um, yeah, the double semicolon is required for REPL execution, basically. See, it doesn't do anything unless I do that. All right, right. I don't have paginator in here. I wonder if there's an error in my paginator code and that's what's actually happening. But you would think, you would think that, the, oh, do I have to build before I exec or does exec build for me? No, it definitely built for me because otherwise this code wouldn't have even existed. Process died with unhandled exception, invalid argument in sec.drop. I mean, okay. I'm confused, but that's okay. Nothing new there. <laughs> All right, uh, let's see if I can open Paginator. I probably should just do another Dune Utop and this just open the Paginator component so I can just kind of play with this in the REPL. Oh, that's it. Damn it. You're right. You're right. Um, okay. Okay, hold on. That's what it is. It's that, what happens? What happens if I do this? What is zero? What's the, it's still an int. So basically sec.drop throws an exception or raises whatever we call it in OCaml if it's a negative integer dependent types anybody anybody want dependent types right now i know you do um let me just think about this so sec.drop start so yeah you're right i don't need i don't need the minus one here You tell me all sorts of things that aren't true of me. So to say that you told me earlier, it's not, it's not really, it's not really helping anybody. Um, okay. So let's just, let's just play with it here. Uh, white. Oh, I have to open leaves. Maybe leaves underscore paginator. All right, let's open this real quick. And let's just say we have a paginator. Let's just say we have exactly what we already defined here. Which might not work because of the way modules are in the REPL but I can just take this off. Okay, we we love that. We love that type, it looks so good. Um, we'll, we'll get to that later, Leandro, don't, wor don't worry. It doesn't have to be like that, I don't think. There's probably a way you guys have solved for this and I just didn't know about it. Um, so, so succinct. <laughs> It's just because of format strings, okay? <laughs> it's, it's so bad looking. <laughs> um, it's, it's just a format string. It's fine. I forgot what I was doing because I got to I got I got embarrassed about my type. I feel a lot of type shame right now. All right, should we just talk about it right now, Leandro? You wanna you wanna see this? This, oh man, I was supposed to leave 20 minutes ago. Um, all right, here, I'll just show you real quick the reason that I, I have it this way. Um, and it is because in Paginator, 
basically we need a format for like this, like when you're using Arabic format, which would be like, uh, you know, one page one of three is basically what this would be like. Because if you had three pages, you're on page one, it'd be one slash three. And so in order to make that work type-wise, I had to do this. Yeah. And then when you do that, the type ends up being this. It's pretty bad. Um, so there might be, there's probably a nicer way of doing that, but we don't have to talk about it right now. But just so you know, that's, that's kind of what happened. Yeah. Yeah. You just, you just, you just let me know. We're, look at how we did it in spices.ml. Okay. I will. We'll add this, we'll add this to the to do's. All right. Yeah, I think I think that's a good thing, Prophet. <laughs> I, I know it is. It's just, oh man, sometimes, sometimes it it was it was a little bit painful because I was just like going and going with all this type inference, didn't have to specify any types, and then I get this error, and I'm just like, what the, what the actual heck is going on? Uh, to do fix this by following what's done in spices. Okay. How about that for a good to do? All right. Um, <laughs> then in type six, this by the way. <laughs> oh no, I got the same stupid error. Uh, Beautiful, beautiful. And then the point was, now I just wanted to test out get slice bounds paginator 100 and make sure that it returns what I'm thinking. This is this is the this is the way my brain had to work through this. Um okay. So then if we had paginator with page equals two, what would our slice bounds be? 20, 30. This is the part that like, let me just think about this. So what is the current, what's the default paginator page? Oh, it's cause the pages are zero indexed. Okay, so page one would give me 1020. Okay, okay, we're getting there. Don't worry, we're, we're, so, we're so effing close. Um, yes, okay. I think we're okay. I think I think I've got it. Um, are we making pages one indexed? We we didn't. At least the Go code didn't. Um, which uh, is a little a little weird, in some ways. But I don't know. I guess there's there's benefits to both. It's fine. Okay, let's just try executing this again. <clears throat> okay, okay, we don't have any examples of like how this is supposed to work. Pagination, guys, let's go. We can't go past 10 page. Pagination. Amazing. I did it. Um, hey, that's pretty cool, actually. I did not expect this to work. <laughs> I was like, I'm sure I fucked this up somewhere. <laughs> oh, that's so funny. Um, 
Beautiful. <laughs> um, that's pretty cool. All right, let's look at dots. It's going to be kind of funny for... Uh, it's going to be a little bit funny. Let's see, what did I do for Q? Q is quit. Okay. Let's use dots and see what that looks like. <clears throat> so we're going to say per page 10 and we're going to say style, I think is what I called it. Uh, paginator dot dots. I don't remember what I did. Paginator dot dots. Is that how I use it? Yeah. Um, okay. So let's let's do the dots example. Make sure that works. Okay, okay. We can also l. We're 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 hing and ling right now. Beautiful, beautiful. Um. Nice. Oh, thanks, Leo. I appreciate that. Um. Okay. So dots works, and Arabic works. How about it? Not bad. Um, so yeah, I, for those of you who don't know, like I'm pretty darn new to OCaml. It's probably somewhat obvious, but it's pretty cool that we were able to port a little Go component and uh, contribute to Mint T, which I've like done a little bit of like playing with and understanding and that it just kind of worked. I mean, you know, because, because chat is filled with degenerates it took a while but we actually we actually did it which is pretty freaking cool um hori portier thanks for the follow i appreciate it tej shout out uh thanks tej i appreciate that as well um so that's pretty awesome very happy about that uh so with that i think i think it's time for me to head out <laughs> Shut up and me. <laughs> um, okay, awesome. <clears throat> so let's let's commit this. Uh, there's a little bit more like cleanup and stuff I need to do. We can make it a little bit better, but we're we're getting there at least. Um, I was wondering why that was so confusing. Oh, that's really funny. I committed a. Uh, Emacs edited buffer file. That's fine. Um, paginator working. How about it? Okay, beautiful. So uh, yeah, next time we do OCaml, probably Friday. It just depends on some scheduling stuff. Uh, I will finish this up. We'll make the pull request. We'll... Uh, We'll do all that stuff. Uh, I will be back on Wednesday, most likely, and we'll continue uh, Rust, actually. So Rust on Wednesday, OCaml on Friday, and that's the plan. All right.